You'll notice that within many of the milestone sections, there are links to documents. For instance, in the information about brokerage services milestone section, there's a link to a copy of the IABS form. Also within this milestone section, what forms will I have to sign when I sell my home? It comes with some links to some of the standard TREK contracts for residential properties. In addition to links to documents, you will also notice that some of the milestone sections have links to websites. For instance, in this section, what should I do to get my home ready for sale? Here's a link to a website on some home staging tips. So what do you do if you want to add or delete some of the documents in the milestone sections? Let's start first with how to add different documents. Go to Templates, and you're going to drop down to the last section in the templates called InfoDocs. Now what InfoDocs is, is a library of documents that you can create within Clearly Closing that you will be able to link to within the system and they'll always be available for your buyers and sellers to link to. Let's say that I want to add a document on utility provider phone numbers. I will browse my computer and I just so happen to have a utility service provider list on my desktop. I add it. Now that document has been added to our library within our info docs in the templates section. Now where might I want to add this utilities list? Well let's go back to the milestone section prepare to close buyer. And here's a section on what about transferring utilities. I will edit the section. And here there's a box that says select a document. When I hit the drop down menu, you see that the utilities list is available to select. And now I just have to type in my click here text. I then click on add and save. Now when I go to that milestone section or your client goes to that milestone section and they click on it, they have the utilities list. So this is a real handy way to add those frequently used documents that you want to review with your buyers and sellers or that you need to send to your buyers and sellers. Now let's say I want to add a link to a website in one of the sections. Let's go to Getting Started Buyer and we're going to go to the milestone section how do I get a home warranty? And there's some good information in here about the home warranty. We'll edit this section. And here where it says add a website link, we simply need to copy the URL into this box. I have a website here, homewarrantyreviews.com for Texas. I'm going to copy that URL, paste it in this box, and add it. And it will automatically populate at the bottom. If you want a little bit more space, just put your cursor in there and then save it. And now anytime you or your client looks at this milestone section, they will have a handy link to the website that you copied. So in conclusion, you can go into any of the different milestones and select a particular section and add a document or add a link to a website. Just remember you have to add the document to InfoDocs first. And one other way you can utilize adding a document into Clearly Closing is on the timeline each of the timeline dates has an explanation of what that date means. So here's effective date, here's our option period expiration, here's our survey and T47 affidavit. Let's say that you wanted to add a copy of a sample survey to this section. It works exactly the same as adding documents to the milestone sections. You'll go to templates, Pick the timeline template that you want to edit. In this case, it's survey and T47 affidavit. And you would then select the document that you've already uploaded into InfoDocs and click the text that you want to display and it will appear here. And then you can link to that document within the description of that timeline item. So think about some ways you can utilize this feature and streamline your processes within your office providing quick and easy access to frequently used documents and informative websites that you want to have your buyer and seller access.